हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द बियर सीरीज दिस इज द थर्ड वीडियो इन द बियर सीरीज प्रीवियसली वी हैव लर्न बियर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न व्हाट आर वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ बियर एंड देयर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स बियर स्ट्रेंथ व्हेन वी से बियर स्ट्रेंथ व्हाट डज दिस मीन द एवरेज स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ बियर इज अराउंड 4% alcohol by volume that means a particular beer bottle will have around 4% alcohol that is ethyl alcohol apart from 4% ethyl alcohol beer bottles there are beer bottles where you will find that 11% alcohol by volume is also there so this strength ranges from 4% to 11% and there are exceptions also with beer of 70% alcohol by volume so basically there are two types of beer ales and lagers what are ales when the yeast ferments at a higher temperature and stays at the surface it produces an ale these are super toasty yeast yeasty nature of ales popular ales include pale ale stout porter blond ipa belgian ale and amber ales on the other hand the second category is lagers so when it when the yeast ferment at lower temperature and does not float at the surface it produces a lager these uh, beers are not so toasty because yeast floats around popular lagers include pilsner bock margen hells double bock and duncan so let's see what comes into these categories so first we'll talk about ale beer so in the ales first we have barley wine it is a dark fruity beer with high alcoholic content which ranges from 6 to 11% alcohol by volume next we have bitter beer it is copper colored draught ale with predominant hop flavor resulting in bitter taste then we have brown beer it is dark brown sweet beer which is low in alcohol content mild beer lightly hopped faintly sweet beer slightly weaker and darker than bitter it has 3% alcohol by volume then stout a very dark beer made with a very high proportion of malt and hops the world famous stout beer is guinness guinness is a beer from ireland so it's one of the famous beer in the world next we have scotch ale a very strong extremely dark beer from scotland porter it's a very famous amongst the porters of dublin and london brewed from charred malt and then indian pale ale higher alcoholic strength with more hoppy flavor coming to the lager types the first we have bock strong beer from germany in usa darker and sweeter belgian bock is less alcoholic double bock it is an extra strong beer from germany ice beer strong beer obtained by freezing the water before fermentation this is one of the different uh, type of beer then we have pilsner pale golden beer originated in pilsen czech republic now we come to the difference between ales and lager so one of the important difference is that the yeast which is used in ale is saccharomyces cerevisiae and the yeast which is used in lager is saccharomyces carlsberg genesis on the basis of fermentation the fermentation which happens in ale is is at a higher temperature which is 15 to 20 degrees celsius and the fermentation which takes place in lager is around 7 to 12 degrees celsius the fermentation last for a week in ales and it last for around a month for lager beers 
addition of sugar syrup is allowed in the ales and addition of partially fermented wort is uh, to be done in lagers addition of hops to counter sugar content is there in ales more of hops are added extra hops are added to counter the sugar content but in the lager uh, a certain amount of hops are only added the service of ale beer is around done at around 15 to 18 degrees celsius and the service of lager beers is done around 4 to 5 degrees celsius one important uh, category in the beer apart from ales and lager is draught beer which is served fresh so what is draught beer a draught beer are of filtered beer that has been served from a pressurized container such as a keg or a widget can a wider meaning of beer that is served from a keg but not from a can bottle or cask is used a more traditional definition is beer that is served from a large container which could be either a keg or a cask so what do we require to serve draught beer and all those equipments are known as beer dispensing system it includes gas cylinder gas plant keg or cask extractor of coupler beer line cooler and a tap or a gun this is how the draught beers are served this is an important diagram uh, which comes in the exams frequently so this uh, you can see a bar level and below the bar level you have a keg or a cask and then you have a gas cylinder which has carbon dioxide and then above the bar there is a cooler so the beer from the keg and carbon dioxide from the cylinder reaches to the bar top and from there we can draw draw the beer from the tap so both the things mixes together and we get the fresh beer so this is how draught beer is served what are faults in beer so beer could be faulty if one of these things uh, is available like dirty beer dispensing system failure to clean the beer lines with water after every empty barrel failure to draw off the beer left in the pipes after the operation failure to leave water in the beer lines overnight poor sanitary condition warm temperature greasy glasses that is very important glasses should be clean always high fluctuation in the temperature so these are the reasons uh, which can result in faulty beer what are the beer glasses there are so many beer glasses available like mass pilsner pint glass and etc so you can see the image will give you an idea there are mugs also there are beer tanks also beer goblets also so you can pick up a glass uh, which suits the purpose famous brands of beer are pilsner urquell stella artois uh, these are from czech republic then corona which is from mexico stegel which is from austria Amstel and Hennigan which is from Netherlands Foster from Australia Tiger from Singapore Carlsberg and Tuborg from Denmark Anker Brooklyn Bohemian Pils are from USA and Dortmunder is from Germany so that's it in the beer uh, in the next session we'll discuss uh, about uh, whiskey thank you